And good evening. Thanks for joining us at 10. Tonight, Madison police are searching for two suspects at the center of an armed robbery that left one man dead. This is Madison's sixth homicide of the year. It all happened at the Culver's near Todd Drive and the Beltline, and that's where we find our Keeley Arthur. Good evening, Keeley. Hi, Charlotte. Well, this Culver's remains closed as police continue to investigate this robbery turned murder. It's in all available units. The Culver's at 2102 West Line Highway. It came into the 911 dispatch center as a medical emergency. And it sounds like the caller and uh, the patient were doing some type of work at the restaurant itself and uh, just went unconscious. But upon further investigation, turned out to be something much more sinister. There's a certain vileness, there's a certain despicability about the whole thing. Police say four men were inside Culver's overnight, retiling the kitchen floor. That's when two masked men entered and held the workers at gunpoint while they opened the restaurant's safe. About 45 minutes in, one of the workers, a 56-year-old man, suffered a life-threatening medical incident. You have an instance where the victim was literally scared to death. The suspects did not call 911 or let anyone else do so. They collected the money and left five minutes later. Those actions now have Madison PD calling for felony murder charges. If you stop and think about it, a drunk driver who hits nobody gets a fine and a suspension. But if they hit somebody, they die, they go to prison. Why? Because of the outcome. Felony murder can be thought of the same way. If you decide to commit a violent felony, one where violence could ensue, and somebody dies as a result, we want you to pay the price for it. Certainly the goal of Chief Mike Koval as police continue to search for the men responsible. We clearly believe that this is a textbook example of what felony murder looks like. And police say both of the suspects are male, black, in their 20s or 30s. And investigators are continuing to review security video. And they're looking at old robberies that went unsolved in hopes of getting some sort of clue. Keely Arthur continuing our coverage tonight live from Madison's West Side. Keely, thank you.